Bondia from Angola, how are you all doing? It's my last day in this beautiful country and it's been an awesome six days. Yep, I told you guys earlier, I was given only 10 days. I missed my flight on the first day and I couldn't make it. And my visa actually started from the day that I got the visa. So unfortunately, I couldn't spend more time in this beautiful country. But I believe that it's also a way to let me know that I will be back if you're an Angolan watching this video just let me know in the comment section but anyway um, since today is my last day it means that I'm leaving this country today and where I'm living I feel like it's extremely beautiful and it takes me back to uh, back in the days when I used to live in China because if you have been to China before you live in China you definitely know that this is how every single Chinese live I mean we live in apartment majority of Chinese people, unless you go to the countryside where you're gonna uh, see a free standalone uh, houses. But most of us living in the cities, we're all living in apartment and it's look exactly like this. So when I came here, I was telling my camera guy, I feel like I'm back in China, more like a replica of how we used to live in China. So I quickly did a research about this place and I found out that, oh, okay, it was actually built by China. So they call this place Kilamba or Quilamba. This is where I've been staying since I landed in Luanda. It's more like 30 kilometers away from the capital city. So which means it's a very long drive. And one of the things that I really love about this whole neighborhood is the road that is within the neighborhood. I mean, should I call it a city? Because I feel like it's a whole city on its own because it covers an area of 30 kilometers square. So you can just imagine how big it is i don't think even this drone shot will do justice to it but the fact that there are roads and trees everywhere makes it even more unique for me because me i told you guys i just want to live in a place where there are so many trees so i feel so much at home i don't even want to live in the city even though everyone got cars in here but there's less movement of people but people are saying this place is actually a ghost town of which i'm here to debunk that i don't think it's a ghost town because since i came in here i see people filled up every apartment i see people having fun i see people jogging i mean it, it's a it's a livelihood neighborhood how do i call it it's a lively neighborhood yeah they got over 750 blocks and some of them don't have elevators i mean the short ones so we have from it starts from from seven to seven to what do you call it 13 floors so it, it, it's it's incredible man they've provided places for car park they've provided places where people play i mean basketball football they go schools in here they go shopping malls all over the place it, it, it's listen if i had my way i guess the government of every country needs to invest in such development so that it will accommodate a lot of people you know imagine if we have thousands of this definitely people are not going to stay in um how do you call it in shanks and all of that what do you call it is this shank or shacks you know shacks or maybe i mean even if you go to villages build something like this for them make it affordable i mean i feel like africa is so blessed and it's about time our leaders come together to think about how to make africa great for africans it, it, it's very important because imagine living in kilamba i mean we have it was supposed to house over 200,000 people but after being here i think it's housed over a million people based on what i see in here i mean you don't think this is good for the people come on bro and one thing that i really did not understand is the fact that this project cost 3.5 billion dollars 3.5 billion dollars and when you come to Angola, Angola is one of the expensive countries to live in. So living in here is actually the most affordable place to buy an apartment in here. Because listen, I mean, I started asking questions and in here, the apartment in here start from $20,000. And I went to somewhere in uh, Marginal and I asked for a price of an apartment, which exactly like three bedroom, like this one, small size. I mean, and they were asking for $1.7 million dollars i don't want to talk too much about kilamba i'm leaving the country and i got an exciting news to share with you all 
I'm on my way to Malawi today. My flight leaves around one o'clock, but you know what? I just wanna say something. It, it, it's kind of crazy that I'm in the Southern Africa, I'm flying to another Southern African country, and there's no direct flight from Angola to Malawi. So which means I have to go to Ethiopia, which is in East Africa. It's gonna take me like four hours to get to Ethiopia, and then four hours back to Malawi. <laughs> you know, four hours back to Malawi, which I'm gonna spend almost 10 hours of a trip that I could spend just, you know, just two hours and I'll be in my final destination. But because the meeting that I'm going to in uh, Malawi is very important to me, I cannot miss it. I mean, I don't wanna tell you now, but if you wanna see what's gonna happen at the end, like this video, it's very important. And subscribe to this YouTube channel and come along with me. Let's go to Malawi. Yeah. Are you enjoying Angola? Of course. Really? Yeah, I'm leaving today, by the way. I'm actually going to uh, Malawi oh, and okay. there's no flight. Oh. So I'm going to, uh, what do you call it? At Ethiopia and come back. Okay. Yeah. You, you live here? Up here. And you're an Angolan? No, I'm Guinean. Guinean? Wow! Nice to see you. Guinea Conakry. Guinea Conakry? Yes. Wow! You speak Portuguese. Portuguese? Very well. And you speak French too? Of course. And you speak English now? Of course. Ah, I'm so proud of you, I'm man. Pan African. Pan African? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Woody. All right. Have a good but day. how does it feel living in here? Well, good. I feel home. Hmm. Angolan are welcoming despite the colonial divisions that white people have made. But mm. of all, I'm home. Should I say welcome home? Yeah, I'm home already. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for coming to Angola. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool, man. Uh, that's, I guess that will be the last person that I'm going to meet in this country. So come along with me. Let's go. Adesh, Angola, it's about time we head to our country number 30, which is Malawi. I had a great time in my country number 29. It takes a lot of passion to do what we do. The struggle has been real, but we never gave up just because of you. Because we want you to see the real Africa, the other side of Africa that you did not see. And now I feel like I need to learn different languages like French, Portuguese, so that I'll be able to communicate with people in here. I can't believe that I met a fan who watches my videos, even though he doesn't understand anything. But he recognized me and he's like, this is the guy that I've been watching. In this YouTube. What is he saying? He says he's seen your, your, your YouTube page and... Ah! He was in Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Let's go to the airport. But before we head to the airport, I need to go say goodbye to my one and only friend. The only friend that I knew before coming in here. She used to be in Ghana. She has been amazing and I cannot leave this country without saying goodbye. We had dinner last night and it's about time to go say ciao, ciao. Then we take it from there. So she's in church, come along, let's go. But hey, this roads in here are super beautiful well tired, well laid. One thing that I'm gonna remember about Angola is the fact that there are trees everywhere. The city of trees, the green city, and yeah. some few payment that we need to do this is a country that I've spent so much money I came here with four thousand dollars for you know just in case and the four thousand dollars 
it only remained two hundred dollars man i need to create a, an account where i call it the wadamaya travel fund <laughs> You guys need to fund my travels, man. I mean, what we're doing is for Africa, bro. It's not for a personal gain, man. It's for Africa. So you guys need to support us, man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take my last two hundred dollars, and uh, yeah, inshallah, we will survive in Malawi. There is something about Angola that I really don't understand. How? A lot of people have to queue just to go for money, you know, it's it's super crazy man, like I'm, I'm actually late and I came here to withdraw money and the queue is insane man, I don't think I can be on this queue since I'm going to the airport, so I, I just hope that the government can do something, digitalize the country so that people don't have to queue just to take money man, this is ridiculous. Finally, got an ATM, and uh, this is an ATM for a hotel. And they're telling us that to take the cash, you need to buy something. So I decided to buy water just to get the loan. And I mean, it's very important. I don't know, man. This is really not a, a great thing about a country that is so expensive like that that you have to struggle to get money. You know, Findy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for money, you know? Okay, I think it's better for you to go up there. You go just to the airport, okay? Okay. Because I'm tired. No, alright. Okay. No worries. You can use my money. It's going to come and bring it to okay. me, okay? Okay, no worries. No worries. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Same train. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I was supposed to go see my friend, but because we've been, we've been around looking for money, <laughs> Um, she's saying it's, I'm gonna miss my flight if I go and see her before I head to the airport. So she's saying that I should just go straight to the airport. Ah, this is sad, man. Okay, so this is Kwanzaa. This is how it looks like, man. Where's the water? Ha! <laughs> so we come and buy water, right? What, how do you say water in Portuguese? Agua. Agua. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and I don't to take the cash, you need to buy agua. You know you speak French? No, I speak only English. English? Yeah. No French? No, 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 no. No Portuguese? No Portuguese. Hola. Hola. Yeah. Good morning. Bon dia. Bon dia. Bon tat. Bon noite. Bon noite. Bon dia. Tutu bang, obrigado. Yeah, tutu bang, and the English, how are you? Yeah. Fine, I'm fine. You. Yeah, I'm fine. obrigado. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. Where do you live? Me, I live in Ghana. Ghana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghana. Yeah, Ghana. Oh, Ghana. 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 Welcome to Angola. Huh? Welcome to Angola. Okay, obrigado. Angola. Thank you. Thank you. Best and love. All right, yeah. all right. In France, bon voyage. Ah. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. Thank you for loving Ghana. <laughs> so I got, I got my watch out. Thank you. Yeah, so let's go. I need to see Findy no matter what. I have to see her. I don't know. She's telling me no, but I'm going to see her. Are you looking at your head? They can see your Ghanaian. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Good. Okay, I saw your video. You saw my video? Yeah, I saw a video of yours. I knew you through my nephew who is in Zambia. Mm. He watches videos. So he told me, oh, this guy goes to countries, what, 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 ah, what, what. Nice. Yeah, so I saw you talking about Angola. Angola? Yeah, yeah. Hey, How are you? I'm good. You live okay. in Angola? I live in Angola. I hope you like Angola. I like Angola. Where are you from? I'm from Zambia. Zambia? Yeah, but I live here. I live here 20 years. Wow. Yeah, 20 yeah. years? 20 years, yes. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Ah. You like land, brother? Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's oh. so, so expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> you don't come here with, with $200 tickets, okay? Here, you, you, you came to a very expensive place. Oh, yes, I, I just came to buy water, ah, and the water is like thousand one. Yes, you live in here? No, I don't live here. I was just come to meet someone. Oh, okay. I to meet someone. <laughs> okay. Here. I, I don't know your name. What's your My name? name? I know is, your face. Yeah. I know your face. <laughs> I saw your face. I saw, name, yeah. I saw you one time when I was in Zambia. In on Zambia. A video. My yeah. nephew was telling me about you. Yeah. Yeah. Then I saw. Then that's when I saw you. I think he, 
publishing, publishing a video, yeah. you were, uh, what do you call this? I don't know where I can find it. Yeah. I can't see it. It's yeah, here, it's where here. you were. You, you call it Majina. Majina, yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. Yeah, so yeah. I thought you've left. No, I'm leaving now. I'm, leaving I'm actually going to the airport. Are you going to the airport? Okay, yeah. go away. Yeah, you're going to South Africa? Africa? I'm going to Malawi. Just this. You, you should show me on Facebook. No, definitely. You see uh, yourself. Uh, on Facebook? Yeah, you'll uh, see yourself. Okay. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. would be very good if you show me. No, I will show you. Ah, uh, uh, okay. okay. That's okay. I'm going to Malawi. I'm going to Malawi. Uh, what's your name? In so many African countries, Sundays, it's so busy, but it's not the same story in Angola, man. Like, <laughs> Sunday, there's traffic. Ha! Huh. I guess I have to go to the airport. I can't just uh, <laughs> risk this, man, because I thought, oh, today's Sunday, so, I mean, everyone's going to be free. But, hey, there's traffic, uh, movement of people. That's super crazy, man. I just want to say thank you for everything man really I appreciate I, I she said I should go to the airport but I don't want to think I can go to the airport you see we don't see her no I have to see you before I leave yeah? uh, uh, my brother is leaving oh. <laughs> even if it's for one minute I need to my see mom. your mom mom huh? Hola. Hola. Mm. that's it it's Matilde nice Matilda. to meet you Matilde nice Matilde. to meet you Matilde. So, my so name is Matilde. Matilda. <laughs> so Matilde. So she moves to Ghana. So, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. saying my brother from Ghana. From Ghana, yeah. This is my queen. Oh. My mom. Oh. So. <laughs> She's beautiful. She looks like you. This is what happens to me. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yes, my mom. So. Uh, All right, Findy. Um, I know you told me to go to the airport straight because I'm going to miss my flight. Mm -hmm. But I cannot do this. I just have to sacrifice and come and see you and say that you're amazing. Good. Trust me, I'll see you again. I hope so. Then take care of your husband. I will. He's an amazing guy. Please, you got the best husband in the whole world. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for all advice. All right. Okay. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Yeah. Thank you. You too. All right. Bye, guys. Is it Vamos Airport? Airport. Ah, Vamos Airport. Yeah. So we are at the airport. The airport is right in the middle of the city. So yeah. Thank God I made it. Why Last time. Yes. Okay, say what the Maya. What am I? <laughs> really, I couldn't believe I met you here. What do you mean? I'm the one. I know. You, you're from Ethiopia. From Ethiopia? Of course, yeah. I know. I'm a Saganalu. I'm a Saganalu. <laughs> what I so do you do? I just come to visit. I am exploring Africa, man. I am Pan Africanist. I live in Australia. Okay. Yeah. And you're just exploring. Yeah. I That's just want to see opportunity. And. That's amazing. Yeah. I also came to explore, visit, do videos just like the way I do my videos in every country. Yeah. And it's awesome seeing you, man. I am so thrilled, man. Ha! Ah, just take a picture. Thank you. Wow, very great to meet you. Where are you, where are you flying? To? I'm going to Malawi. Malawi? What's yeah. Like? Uh, just the same thing, just going to another yeah, country. I'm so glad the way they do here. Yeah. Everywhere Africa is booming. Man. Exactly, man. And I'm tired of Western countries. <laughs> I really can't believe that I'm doing this. Like, Malawi is just an hour away from here, but I'm just gonna go for a 10 hour trip, man. Wow. This is crazy, but anyway. A lucha continua. Crazy day, man. Our flight is departing. We had limited time when we because I think our flight from Angola delayed, but it was shocking to see that 90% of the people on board were Chinese. I mean, if Chinese are visiting Africa, living in Africa, investing in Africa, how much more than we as Africans that the continent belongs to us? Why don't we take advantage of the continent, man? Yo, it's super crazy, man. The whole plane was filled with Chinese people. I'm like, wow, to the extent that I even had to speak to some of them. <laughs> 
你看中国两千多。对，我以前在。你以前在哪里干？北北不是哪里？我在北京航空航天大学。哦，北京的。对，毕业然后回来。<笑>你在安哥拉安安安哥拉干什么呢？啊、我在安哥拉搞学企业。哦，你现在回中国吗？对，现在回家。在在安哥拉多长时间？这次过来一年多。一年多。哎，安哥拉。一年回去。一年回去。嗯，你还回来吗？还回来。哎呀，根本要钱。安哥拉可以，可以吗？啊，小生产的。嗯。我的家庭这里哦，还好，很高兴见到你。哎，高丽霞。An empty bus. Ha 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 ha. Ah, how come you don't have your second boarding pass? How? I don't know. You don't know. The lady printed only one. I can't believe that. We came all the way from the south, come to east, and go back to the south. I landed safely in Malawi, and it was two o'clock in the morning. That night, I was extremely tired, but I didn't want to sleep because the same morning, which was eight o'clock, we were scheduled to meet the president. I was super excited because this was my first time. Going to the state house, even though I'm from Ghana, I've never met my president. I am, I've always tried to meet my president, but it's always unsuccessful. So coming to a country where I'm not from, and I was part of the people that were heading to the state house to shake hands with the president, was everything for me. And I wish I could vlog, but you know, when it comes to meeting the president, security is always put first. Since the day I was born to today, I never thought or ever dreamed that I would be taking a photo like this. Being surrounded by great men in Africa, and as a young man like me, I really felt humbled. This is me, your favorite annoying village boy from Ghana, together with the president of Malawi and. The owner and the founder of the famous beverage that we all know in Kenya called Pick and Peel, and also Afia Juices. I mean, he's an industrialist, together with the legend Professor Lumumba. And I want to say a big thank you to Professor Lumumba, a friend, a father, and a mentor for making this dream a reality. So yeah, brothers and sisters, I had a handshake with the president of Malawi. We agreed to have an interview, one-on-one -on -one section, and you know me, I'm trying so hard to bring you that presidential series. I've told you about it, and I'm gonna make it happen. The day that I was scheduled for the interview, I was also a bit busy, so I had to head out of Malawi. That's why that interview was not possible. But trust me or not. I'm gonna make it happen, but I was so excited to see Professor Lumumba bringing all these people together. I mean, Africans coming together to invest in an, another African country, and I was a witness because of this is what I've been preaching. And being there, this is one of the days that I will never forget. I mean, I wish my camera guys were around to capture that conversation with me and the president. But it's not the end of the road. We'll keep moving till we get to the top. It was a very long day, but a very fruitful and successful meeting with the president of Malawi. And in the same evening, we all had to meet together to have dinner and also give a big props to Professor Lumumba for making this possible. I mean. Bringing 50 different entrepreneurs from different African countries. I mean, 18 different African countries. It was amazing, and everybody in the room was saying that it's about time we make Professor Lumumba the AU chairman. Do you all agree with me? Leave that in the comment section. Also, the youth of the continent. Mm -hmm. You all have been mentored by Prof. It is time for the youths 
get control of this exercise, right? Spread it far and wide that the movement has begun. No, I understand even from saying, oh, but uh, Kagame has his uh, purse, etc. Kagame is your friend. He's one out of 54 countries. He will join us. Yeah, he will join eventually. Because in the military, we say, when there's overwhelming force, there's nothing you can do. There's overwhelming force. So we are creating an overwhelming force to ensure this is done. At the end of the day, right, leadership and governance is what Prof preaches. It is time though that we say, okay, you have preached it enough, you take charge. And the only way we can take charge is to turn around what we do. All the obstacles that people say we see, uh, the, the, the budget is coming from here and there. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's what people want. Yeah. If the continent says, this is what and who we want, this is what we will get. And therefore, I am proud to share the movement. in Malawi, the revolution has begun, and I just want you all to just, I mean, be more practical. Yeah. I, I, for me, I don't like this. We have conversations and we talk. It is enough of the conversations. When you go your home tomorrow, please think about Malawi. Think about what you invest in here. Because your investment will not just affect the economy, but will to change lives of the ordinary Malawi. I love you guys. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. I am Maya!